Yes, Mike, we got our first look into what DeAndre White could have been thinking after the shooting, and that came in the form of text messages he sent between him and his friends. Now, those messages were presented by the state during witness testimony with Nakira Hullett, a friend of White. The group chat messages, including her, White, and others. The messages happened only hours after the shooting. Messages included, we are going to have a makeover day. How do you feel about blonde tips? Bring scissors? And who can dye hair? In one of the messages, Nakira texted about getting rid of the dreads after someone told her in the group chat a person died in the shooting. When asked what that message meant to the jury, Nakira said it could have been a response to a different conversation. The state seemed frustrated with this witness. Her answers were short, and she often said she couldn't remember most things. Doug O'Connell, a defense attorney watching the proceedings, said this testimony from White's friend wasn't surprising. It doesn't surprise me because we've seen other individuals from either uh, Dondre White's circle of friends or the other group from Clean, and none of them have seemed to be overly cooperative with law enforcement or interested at all about being here in court to testify. And evidence and testimony relating to the search and arrest warrant for White were also presented. Body cam footage of the attempted arrest was shown. That day, White barricaded himself inside and did not come out until SWAT arrived. After the arrest, Colleen PD recovered three firearm, firearms inside the home. One was hidden under the mattress. Now, for a full refresh on this whole trial day, it will be posted on our website, fox7austin.com. For now, reporting at the courthouse, Amanda Ruiz, Fox 7 Austin News.